taking the stats every minute this week. I'm doing my part, I'm paying attention, and I play my position. It's Crypto Lightsaber with another video, guys. I want to talk about Zen Crypto, which I haven't spoken about in a few weeks. Or is it a few weeks? A short while since it went live. Okay, guys, it is 18 days since launch, and the price has been losing zeros. All right, guys, but for those of us that have been minting Zen, we understand that this is a long term potential uh, for success project right um we got our zen for free we paid the gas fees but ultimately we want to look at some of the metrics and see whether this is still worth minting or whether it's worth buying for example okay guys so i've been looking at dune.com we're also gonna have a look at popcorn dow finance which soon is going to be staking uh, you're going to be able to stake zen all right guys so some people might opt to stake zen to earn some of this token uh from the popcorn dow rather than staking on the actual uh, Zen staking website, which gets you about 20%. Is it about 20%? Um, roughly about 20% um, APR. Um, I'm not sure what the yield's going to be on popcorn, okay, guys? But, you know, if you wanted to stake Zen to earn some of this popcorn token, uh, you're going to be able to do that soon. This is off the back of the tweet, um, a tweet, sorry, that I i saw here from jack levin a few hours ago and then uh, there is a tutorial video of how this is going to work when it's all said and done by the popcorn doubt team this is actually a retweet from the popcorn doubt team and um yeah it basically just shows you how this thing works so i'm not i don't know too much about this particular token or this particular project but you know um the thing i want to highlight is that it's more utility for the zen token if you look at the price of zen it has been going down of course since launch and it's just continuously losing zeros however if you look at dune and you look at some of the metrics where are we okay so if you go on dune.com you'll see that the hourly uh claims are getting pretty low right obviously since it launched on the 8th of october and um, you can see that this is down trending, right? The amount of Zen that's being minted on an hourly basis or a daily basis is very low as well. So obviously, um, you know, in terms of what you can receive for, uh, you know, your free mints from the gas that is used, it's getting a bit, it's getting less appealing for people. Me personally, when I have done my claims off the short stakes or short mints that I did. I have reminted those wallets and I will continue to remint re re those wallets over a long period of time. And what that means is that the Zen that's being minted, people are going to want to mint it over longer periods of time in order to get more Zen, which means in the short term, less selling pressure from Zen uh, from Zen mints, right? Uh, or Zen minters, if that makes sense, right? So you can see the minted Zen tokens hourly is trending down as well. Of course, it's probably going to continue. It's probably going to have some volume, you know, over the next few weeks. But if you compare it from the volume over here to the volume over here, you can see that is in a clear downtrend. All right, guys, it started off high. And of course, it started to trend up once gas fees came down. Uh, but of course, right now we see there is trending downwards. So that is something that we have to look at in terms of whether there's long term potential for this. But in the meantime, of course, it's losing zeros, right? But we expect that because people are getting free tokens and people are selling them. I don't really see the point in selling them for the very small change that you're getting. However, that's someone that's only done a handful of wallets. For those that have done like 100 wallets or 300 wallets, for example, they're still making a pretty good, you know, I'd say profit on, you know, the fact that they're getting free Zen minted uh and they're using gas and the gas isn't that much it's, it's not very high at the moment so you know everyone's got their own strategy um you know ultimately it's not sustainable long term for people to continue to do that because the profit margins are going to be get much lower as time goes by uh, but i think that in a bull run right i think that you know this can come uh, can come roaring back pretty substantially okay and um, with the amount of Zen that I'm expected to mint, I believe that, you know, I could still make a decent gain on this token. And you just never know if this just takes off and just goes absolutely nuts one day, um, you stand to make a lot of money, right? Um, the fact that Zen is getting utility, right? Things like this, 
um, you can stake Zen over here. And also, I saw something about some NFTs and, you know, um, there's a lot going on on Twitter. I mean, Jack Levin, the founder of Zen, is continuously, like, tweeting away. You know, um, I think he's pretty good at advertising, considering the fact that this is a free token as well. You know, it's pretty easy to advertise free tokens, right? But ultimately, um, I think he's got something up his sleeve in terms of this becoming a success at the end of the day. So, um, you know, I'm willing to come along for the ride and see where this thing can go in the long term. Okay, I understand that this is not a short term investment for me or short term. I can't even class it as an investment because it's free, but it's not a short term play for me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see whether this can bring us some gains. All right, guys, it's, it could be one of those stories where you say, you know, I got this for free and it made me millions of dollars. Who knows? All right, guys, we just really don't know. But anything is possible in crypto. The Uniswap airdrop was free. Uh, people were minting HEX for free at the beginning. Uh, Bitcoin holders, Ethereum holders. Um, I, I believe that uh, Bored Apes were free <coughs> or Crypto Punks. One of them, they were f actually free when they first come out. Now they're worth like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Um, you know, sometimes in crypto, the stuff that comes free, uh, I, I don't like to pass it up because you just never know how much money it might give you for free somewhere along the line. Okay, guys. So, um, <clears throat> you might want to look further into this popcorn doubt. Um, because you know, um, clearly they've got things going on. It is already a working product. You just can't use Zen with it at the moment, but you can see you can get um, some yield on it and earn popcorn stake in some of these other tokens. Uh, so that might be something that you want to look at and just do your own research. Of course, none of this is financial advice, guys. Don't risk more than what you can afford to lose. And of course, do your own research, do your own due diligence. Uh, but yeah, I mean, come over to the website and take a look at this thing. Um, like I said, I don't know much about it altogether. Um, the fact that uh, Jack Levin tweeted it and you can pair up Zen or do whatever you need to do with Zen on this website and kind of earn somewhere along the line that is coming pretty soon. According to the video um, somewhere on here, the video, which I, I recommend you go and check, uh, check that out. OK, you can stake, uh, you can earn, you can farm and trade on popcorndow.finance. So, uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Um, good to see that Zen has things, uh, has partnerships with other projects. And I think that there's probably a lot more to come um, uh, along with that. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to do an update on this. Um, am I bullish on Zen? Um, I can't say I'm bullish or bearish. I can say I'm along for the ride. And, um, you know, I believe that there is definitely, most definitely the potential First, you make gains and I will continue to mint. I'll continue to accumulate Zen. <clears throat> Maybe not by buying it, but uh, at least by minting it for free. So uh, that's a no brainer. I've done it on Avalanche. I've done it on Binance Smart Chain. I've done it on Ethereum. I've done it on uh, every network that I'm already using. So, uh, yeah, Polygon was another one. So, um, yeah, let's see how this thing goes. But, yeah, I just wanted to bring you that update, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments. Do me a favor and subscribe to the channel. Tick the little bell for notifications. And I will see you guys in the very next video.